The Supreme Court ruling indirectly affirms Abia Court judgment, awarding Namde Kano one billion. Lawyer Ijimako. Hello guys, welcome back to Prospect Internet TV. Thank you for always coming out here. If you're just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. Barrister Lawyer Ijimako. A counsel for the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP Namdi Kano, has described as sad the decision of the Supreme Court of Nigeria to uphold the government's appeal against Kano's release on Friday. Speaking to journalists after the Supreme Court ruling on Kano's cross appeal for his release from the Department of State Service DSS custody, Ijimako said that the appeals court upheld the government's appeal on the Court of Appeal judgment and that the court remitted the case back to the Federal High Court. However, the lawyer said that the Supreme Court held that the invasion of Kano by DSS officers, revocation of his bill and his rendition from Kenya, Kenya, please pardon me, were unlawful, hence affirming the judgment of the High Court sitting in Abia State in 2022. Ijimako said, sadly, the Supreme Court upheld the appeal against Namdi Kanu's discharge, but it also held that the invention of his house, revocation of his bill, and rendition were all unlawful. The court has remitted the case to the Federal High Court to deal with it in line with the ru rulings it made. The ruling of the Supreme Court today was in part disappointing and in part satisfactory. A lot of people might say it is a bit ambiguous. We are going to properly apply for the certified true copies of what the justice stated in court today, but some things that he made clear were that Namdekano was enjoying his bill when his house was invaded, and that was wrong. Record that we obtained a judgment in 2022 at the High Court in Abia State, awarding him 1 billion naira. So, this indirectly affirms that judgment. The judge also held that the manner of bringing Kano into Nigeria was also wrong. But despite all of that, the Supreme Court found case to send this case back to the Federal High Court Sending it back to the Federal High Court is called remission. When they remit, they remit with instructions. We don't know yet what those instructions are because we don't have the certified true copies of the judgment and the judgment order. In days to come, that will be made available. What also come out with that, the re revocation of this bill was wrong. And this is part, and this, and this, please pardon me, and this in part has created a bias to further seek, a base to further seek his release through home, through some other means. Basically, the trial will continue in accordance with the instructions the Supreme Court has issued. Those instructions will be clearer when we get them in writing. The Federal High Court judge will have to be restricted within those instructions. The Federal High Court has to carry out the restrict instructions of the Supreme Court. Nigerians, the Supreme Court on Friday acknowledged that the Nigerian government acted illegally and irresponsibly when it forcefully brought the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra IPOP Namdi Kano back to the country from Kenya. The Nigerian government in 2021 announced Namdi Kano's arrest and extradition to Nigeria to continue to face trial. He was subsequently rearranged with a blindfold before Binta Inyako, a judge of the Federal High Court in Abuja. Kano is facing charges bordering on treasonable felony instituted against him 
at the court following years of campaigning for the succession of the Republic of Biafra from Nigeria through IPOB. He was granted bill in April 2017 for health reasons, but flew the country after the military attacked his house in Abia State, killing some people. However, the Appeals Court on Friday forted the rearrest and extrajudiciary rendition of Kano by the Nigerian government. The court also blamed the trial court for revoking Kano's bill after fled the after he fled country following the invasion of his home by security agents. And Barrister Loye Jumako, the counsel for the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Namdi Kano, has described as sad the decision of the Supreme Court of Nigeria to uphold the government's appeal against Kano's release on Friday. Speaking to journalists after the Supreme Court ruling on Kano's cross appeal for his release from the Department of State Service, DSS. Ijimako said that the Appeals Court upheld the government appeal on the Court of Appeal judgment and that the court remitted the case back to the Federal High Court. However, the lawyer said that the Supreme Court held that the invasion of Kano by DSS officials, revocation of his bill, and his rendition from Kenya were unlawful hands affirming the judgment of the High Court sitting in Abia State in 2022. So guys, what's your take on this? Let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section, please. If you are just joining us, subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you.